it's Randy and Nicole with Art Profiler. We're here again today with Erilyn Hughes. Hi, Erilyn. Hi, Hi. Nikki. <laughs> Sorry for the barking dog in the background, everybody. No it, worries. You can put the dog out or in or whatever. No, he just me? he'll run out of the, his barking, <laughs> his barks. <laughs> well, we're not going to spend a lot of time um, this week reviewing what's happened with our missing advice columnist, C.D. Knowles. Uh, you can check out the website to follow that story and, and maybe I'll put a link at the end if you want to start from the beginning. But what we will do is confirm that C.D. Knowles is in fact Caitlin Wang, wife of the lead virologist at UT, Dr. Lee Wang, um, who both went missing in mid-February and we finally have some answers thanks to Erilyn. So Erilyn, tell us what you know please. Well, the first thing is, I just regret getting involved with all this because Caitlin is, has become such a mess and it's such a situation. And as you already know, she stayed all night with me last night at my house in the guest bedroom. Can, can you back it up for our followers a little bit? Because um, last time we spoke with you, you told us you knew Caitlin. Yes who we suspected was our advice column, the CD yes. novel. And you're gonna find out her address and go to her house to check on, on her. Mm -hmm. Well, I got in my art car and I drove over there with my little mask and gloves and I got out at the address that I found and um, there was no sign of life at all. The drapes were drawn, there were newspapers out there, there was no cars in the driveway. I kind of sort of tried to peek in the windows, couldn't see a thing. And I rang the doorbell, of course, but no response. So I went to the neighbors and I said, I, do you know that, you know, Caitlin and, and do you know if they are out of town or what? And she said, I don't know. We haven't seen them in weeks. Uh, I don't know where they are. So I thought, well, maybe she doesn't know. She wasn't that friendly. So I went to this lady over on the side of another house and she was gardening. And I said, hey, you know, I'm friends with Caitlin and I'm here and she doesn't seem to be at home. Uh, uh, the paper, what do you think? And she said, I haven't seen her in weeks. I don't know where she is. That actually, she said it had been months. The other lady said weeks. They just seemed to be gone. Mm. So that's well, what happened. Kind of uneventful. Yeah. We know that we know that Caitlin stayed with you last night and you've already told us the gist of the story, but can you tell everyone out there who's following this why you regret getting involved? Well, like I said, I couldn't find her at the house, but before I knew it, she was at my front door and she was just a mess. I mean, she was shaking, you know, and she didn't have much to say. She was just kind of mumbling around and she was just a nervous wreck. And she told me this crazy story about her husband being kidnapped and something to do with his work and that there was, uh, their lives were in danger and, and, and he was gone and she had this parrot with her uh you know and that thing was just like nah, 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 all the time now i've got a parrot in my house oh my gosh but i said you know you can stay the night i mean what can i say and uh, i said but i have a guest bedroom you have to put on your gloves and your mask and you go to the guest room and i'll leave you snacks and food and knock on the door and um uh, you know it was late in the evening anyway so that's what happened and I, I tell you, uh, this is just a bad situation all the way around. I mean, she was just a mess, so distraught. I mean, I have enough chaos in my life. I can't take her on. But Erilyn, is she still at your house now? No, she left this morning. And she just, you know, crazy and nervous and, you know, had to go, had to go, had to go. So Do I know, don't know. Do you know where... What, where she went after that? Not a clue. I have no clue where she is now. She, I gave her you guys phone numbers. That's it. Yeah, she's actually already been in touch with us. We're going to meet with her tomorrow. Well, you'll see what I saw. It's, it's, um, it's, it's disturbing. I feel sorry for her, but I don't know what to do. Well, did she go to the police about her husband being kidnapped? No. No, she didn't go to the police. She wouldn't said she wouldn't go. No, 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 no. So, what could I do? Weird. 
She's weird. Um, I thought I was weird. She's weird. We'll leave you out of this whole situation moving forward, but we're really anxious to meet with uh, Caitlin tomorrow and see, see what she has to say, even though weird circumstances for sure. Yeah, I'm just happy she's still alive. I was, I've been thinking the worst, and I think you have too, Nikki. Yeah, well, let's just see if she shows up tomorrow. And if so, you're going to see what I saw, I bet. Well, I'm super curious about her story. So I guess we'll end it there. Um, we'll be back for, for everyone following this with an update on our meeting uh, with Caitlin tomorrow. Thank you, Erilyn. Okay. Good luck. Uh, for getting good us guys. this far. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It was good to see you, Marilyn. Yeah. Bye-bye, you guys. Bye. Hey, be careful.